Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I have a really disturbing story that's once again coming from Trailer Park Trash, Tennessee. So what's going on in Tennessee, you ask? What's going on is that basically we have a high school football team. The school is Ola Watola High School. And so during Christmas break, um, they have rented out a cabin for all the boys to like hang out, you know, chill, get to know one another and everything else. And what, it ended, up, and what ended up happening is some of the older boys on the team decided to do some so-called hazing. And they ended up taking a pool stick and shoving it up one of the freshmen's rectum. And this whole situation is so disturbing. The boy was crying out in pain. Um, he eventually had to be rushed to the hospital. So when the coach took him to the hospital at that point, the boy didn't really want to say what was wrong. Um, he really didn't want to speak on it. The hospital did not check him out thoroughly enough. They ended up saying, you know, giving him the clear and they sent him back to the cabin with the coach. Well, once he got to the cabin, his condition worsened. And then they ended up having to call the ambulance. So once he got into the ambulance, he finally made it they had stuck a pool cue up his rectum. And what ended up happening is that they stuck it so far up his rectum, ended up puncturing his colon, and then the tip of the pool stick ended up breaking off in his bladder. So this boy was in excruciating pain. He's not having to use a colostomy bag for the next two weeks. Family's also speaking out about this to the news. Um, there's also a news clip about this entire story. This story is just so damn disturbing. Go ahead and check out this news clip. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Is in the hospital, and now Gatlinburg police are investigating the situation as an assault. Detectives saying it happened at a rental cabin on a Laurel Mountain Road on Tuesday night. New here at 11, we sent WATE 600 side reporter Cameron Taylor to Gatlinburg to find out where police are in this investigation. He joins us now live in the newsroom with the latest. Cam? Ryan, detectives are in the very early stages of this investigation and not releasing much information right now. What we do know is that the victim and his teammates, along with coaches, were in Gatlinburg for a basketball tournament. We're told they're from Ottawa High School. That's near Chattanooga. Now, one of the detectives investigating the case told me tonight the assault happened around 8.30 Tuesday night, and they didn't get word of this until the early morning hours on Wednesday around 12.30. The call came from LeConte Medical Center, where they were told the attack happened at a rental cabin on Laurel Mountain Road, as you mentioned. The victim's coach had taken him to LeConte Medical to be treated. And I'm told the student was later taken to UT Medical Center where he underwent surgery because of the extent of his injuries. So still a lot of questions out there surrounding this assault and what led up to it. Right now, I'm told charges are pending. These are being held at the Sevier County Juvenile Detention Center. They're charged with aggravated assault and aggravated rape. Ottawa's athletic director told us last week the students had been kicked off off the basketball team over allegations in a possible hazing case. Wednesday, Gatlinburg police responded to the hospital and a cabin where the team was staying for an overnight tournament in Gatlinburg. One player had been taken to the hospital to ha and had to have emergency surgery. We do not know at this point if there was any more than one victim. Depend on News Channel 9 for updates in this developing story. You guys Sarah. just watched the news clip. You know, I don't understand what the hell's going on with a lot of these kids nowadays. I don't understand how people can even still be doing hazing and consider something like you know sticking something up somebody's butt as hazing you know there's nothing funny about that you know that's evil this is rape if this was to happen to a female nobody would be taking this as a joke nobody would be considered this as hazing they're saying that the boys who were involved were kicked off the basketball team there needs to be several criminal charges filed against these young boys you know when parents send their kids off to camp or when you know you send your kids to play on a basketball team or a football team you expect for your kids to be safe not for them to be sodomized and raped by a bunch of damn freaks I mean this to me is just disgusting it's sad that so many kids are 
they're so desensitized that they think shit like this is normal or that they think shit like this is funny. It's not okay. This is like the second story I've heard about in the past few years where, you know, guys have done hazing rituals for basketball and football teams by sticking brooms up people's butts and everything else. You know, this is some sick ass shit. They literally could have killed that young man. They ruptured his rectum, but his bladder was also ruptured. This young man could have all types of bladder issues for the rest of his life. He had to undergo serious surgery. You know, this is just really, really distinct that we as adults really need to talk to our kids and let them know what proper behavior is. And it's sad sometimes when teens get together, you know, they kind of encourage each other and instigate. I want to know where the coach was at this time. And I understand that the coach can't be everywhere at once, but did nobody hear this young man screaming? You know, did they put a pillow over his face? Like, you know, how did this go down where no adults there? Was it just the coach? You know, how come nobody else on the foot and how come nobody else on the basketball team spoke up for this young man? He literally could have died, especially when they brought him back to the rental cabin, knowing that he was just raped. You know, the whole situation to me is just sickening. I wish him a speedy recovery. You know, hopefully he'll be okay. But his family's saying that he's having nightmares. He can barely, can barely sleep. He doesn't trust anybody anymore. This is something that's going to be with this young man for the rest of his life. I definitely feel so bad for him. Like I said, this was a female victim. People will be taking it a lot more seriously. But I'm hearing people saying, you know, boys will be boys. You know, this is hazing. No, nothing like this should be normal and should be okay. You know, this to me is sick. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy ass situation that's once again coming from Trailer Park Trash, Tennessee. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.